That's why it was popular, because yeah. it gave people hope. Well, Annette, this is your garden, is it? Well, I would like it to be. <laughs> Despite Jim and Walter's hijinks and tomfoolery, there was often a more serious side to the hit squad. Well, good, morning. Good, morning. good morning, good morning. Right, you've brought us here to the Lens Cemetery, here in Glasgow, the dear green place, but uh, for a particular reason, obviously. We would like you to do as a garden of remembrance uh -huh. for our babies. It was really quite sad in some of them, but uh, nevertheless you felt you really had to do them and, and get something nice for, for those people who, you know, uh, at the end of the day, well, it left some memory with them. Well, Elaine, uh, we've finished the garden, so what do you and the gang here think of it? Terrific. It was just one day, it was pouring, and by the time they left, it was like the Battle of the Somme. And I hope we've addressed your problem. Well, it smells very peculiar. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> what would it like? It'd be red over. I mean, without the overalls, I mean, water, yeah, you look like Liberace with a trowel. <laughs> <laughs> Liberace with a trowel. Jim with a wee bald head and, and the hat with a zip, a denim hat with a zip. You know why it had a zip on it? It's because his daughter made his hat out of an old pair of jeans. It was a beautiful day and he'd taken off his hat and his head was getting a wee bit red. Somebody had to apply the cream to my pate and, uh, you know, Mary was, well, I don't mind her doing it, you know. So I had the great enjoyment of rubbing the suntan lotion into his head and everyone was most jealous. Hang on a minute, this looks familiar. These overalls were worn by Carl Smiley. I've never had them washed. Oh, Carl was lovely. Bit like yourself, didn't he? Thank you very much. Yes, but I was never doing up your house, was I, boys? I can hardly believe that this is the same house. They kind of started makeover programmes, didn't they? Because after that, you got ground force and so on. But the hit squad were the prototype. I'd like to wish the Beach Grove happy 25th birthday. I hope you keep up the good work because you've brought a lot of people a lot of pleasure. I must admit, I, I do enjoy the, the community projects, you know, seeing communities um, getting the benefit of Beach Grove's expertise. It's great to work as part of a community with these people to help them create something um, which may not otherwise have been created. Well, things are coming together quite nicely here in the courtyard garden. It's beginning to look quite furnished, and we've got these gorgeous banners up here. To put Durness on a gardening programme, it just lets you see how Scotland differs from the rest of the UK. It was really very good. It acted as a huge catalyst for our project. Uh, it really made the project happen. You saw what people were doing in the teeth of such adversity, and, and they were wonderful. It's pretty exposed up this neck of the woods, and what better way to utilize the wind than to have things moving in it. When Beach Grove decided to come to West Bride, it was such a, a morale boost and really generated a lot of, of community enthusiasm in, in such so many ways. Since 96, with a little help from Beech Grove, a hundred communities across Scotland have been able to build a garden for themselves, by themselves. I think my favourite garden that I had something to do with was um, the school at Musselburgh. Leslie and I did a jungle garden for the kids there, and it was just the best time ever. At the end of it, I'll never forget, we had, um, the director thought, great idea, we'll have the Jungle Book music for the end. That was wonderful. Suddenly he presents Leslie and me with a lion costume and a gorilla costume and says, put these on and when the music plays, dance. I'm the king of the swingers, oh, the jungle, I'll the camp and have to stop and that's what's If you don't see the funny side of things, or if you don't take it, that, you can be serious without being poor faced. Uh, and if you're going to be serious and poor faced, well, you might as well just go away and collect stamps. If gardening is not fun, it means you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Guys, 
Please, what are you doing? Well, let's get the realism out of it. I remember Sid extolling the virtues of this particular planter. That was a hideous thing. Uh, he went on and on about how this was going to look beautiful, and at the end of it, it still looked like a bit of pipe. That's Sid's total pole. Sid's pipe dream, I think. <laughs> oh, well, just as you mentioned pipes, Bill, over here I have kept the other half of the pipe for you. <laughs> Sid, I'm emotionally drained. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about spontaneous television, it was wonderful. It's really, really better. Oh, it's really better. Do you know why you don't eat too much of it? Because it makes you pee. It's <laughs> a diuretic. Not so very long ago, I was attempting to, to, to uh, harvest, uh, remember, celeriac turnip-rooted celery, and it had beautiful stems and beautiful leaves and everything, and the camera is right in there, ready to see this turnip root. Here we have turnip-rooted celery, yeah. and at the bottom there somewhere, there should be a turnip root, and there isn't. <laughs> first come, first serve. Quite right, that's what I see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Leslie was great, because Leslie didn't so much laugh, but she did go guy red when she was trying to hide her emotions. He bet me a bottle of wine that I, he would make me laugh and we'd have to retake. Here in the Plant for Wildlife garden, for example, what do you see the hips in here? I assume you're talking about the Rose of Rebenza. What else? <laughs> Which is looking really gorgeous at the moment. He was extolling the virtues of feeding the wildlife, and the birds in particular, uh, and birds are like humans and that they all like different things, they have different tastes. And I said, looking her straight in the eye, yes, tits like coconuts. And the birds like to eat the seeds. So don't cut so the heads off. Absolutely, because birds have different tastes in food, just as we have. Some like to eat seed, like some like berries. Tits like coconuts. They do indeed. I do believe a um, tabloid newspaper did pick up on some of this and was a little shocked. Let there be... Hey, hang me, I can walk again, and that's not the Oh, yeah. Push my heart. Be oysters. Oh, again. <laughs> <laughs> that looks quite good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I entrusted Carol, because I trust her, to look after my hanging basket, which is a series of three. That was an absolute classic, because there we were saying goodbye. It looked like it had been signaled. Until we see you then. <laughs> goodbye. Bye. Bye. Oh! Everybody still laughs about it, and I sort of smile politely and say, well, yes, it was very funny. Yeah. The team that we work with, because obviously it's not just the presenters, it's everybody, the camera people, the sound people, everything. We have such good fun, and I do think that comes across. I think we're all passionate about gardening. Um, it's absolutely our lifeblood. In a football world, when you meet too many people with blue noses, it's nice to see people with green fingers getting on. Happy birthday, the Beach Grove Garden. 25 years old. You look much older, you know. Da da dee da da dee 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 dee. I cannot bear weeding. I I have no time for cactus. I hate gnomes. I was the daddy of them all. You really got it, you haven't. It fills my bucket every time. Now you better cut that. Start again.